we talk about sports watches and then we all want professional sports watches. On that, the manufacturer introduces these professional models in precious metals with a dial that's not offered in standard steel models. And then the steel watches start to approach the prices of precious metal watches. And then we start to think, why not the king of all sports watches? We have seen Diver watches and we have talked about Rolex Submariner in traditional flash of stainless steel. But when we go past the ideas of traditional watches, something like this is bound to happen. This Rolex Submariner reference 116619LB in 18 karat white gold is truly an undisputed king of all Rolex subs, offering all the functionalities of Divo's watch, yet at the heart has Rolex caliber 3135 beating at 28,800 vibrations and offering 48 hours of power reserve. While maintaining the 300 meter water resistance, the white gold Submariner offers a sports watch with a feel of jewelry. This particular reference is nicknamed as Smurf, which is primarily due to the bright blue color of the dial and the ceramic bezel. We like to nickname our watches, and then what relates to the nickname is always the dial color and not the material of the watch. Other examples include Pepsi, Batman, or Hulk. Where traditional submariners have all brushed bracelet to offer a more rugged appearance and build, the white gold submariner comes with brushed outer links for the bracelet and polished center links. The polished center links complement the elegance and luxury feel of the watch. The dial on this watch is absolutely beautiful offering a bright blue color and matte texture. The blue texture that you see on this particular model is not offered in any other reference for Submariner. With other subs having sunburst styles, when you see this blue matte dial, you truly start to feel that less is more. No reflections, no distractions, no change of colors, no radial lines, and well, no problems at all. When the dial in question is this beautiful, bright and engaging, all you really need is the same dial, the same texture and the same everything. The watch comes with standard Glidelock Clasp 2 which adds to the sportiness of the watch. So from specifications point of view, you have a complete sports watch made in 18 karat white gold and then that blue that when you see once, you just can't unsee. You can however argue that no one needs a diving watch made of white gold and that it should always be stainless steel if you want to actually dive. But truth be said, how many of you actually deep dive wearing your steel submariners? Well, I do the desk diving too. Before we jump to conclusion, let me add that on the wrist with this watch, you know you have the king of submariners offering arguably the most beautiful dials offered in these and the loudest as well that can absolutely never go unnoticed with the luxurious feel of white gold to enhance the experience and joy of ownership the master of rolex submariners you most likely want to wear while diving 
but if you wanted to, you can. The watch being made of 18 karat gold comes with a considerable heft and weight, so much that it is about two times heavier than steel submariner. But the best part is that since it is fully made of gold, the weight is balanced and well distributed across the wrist, so it won't be pulled or dragged towards one side of the wrist due to weight, which balances out brilliantly. All being said, white gold is a softer metal and gives relatively more easily than stainless steel. So having polished center links, I personally think not only works well with the overall watch looks, but also reminds you that it's a dressier watch, which is a little more delicate than stainless steel too. But then again, I don't think you will buy this watch purely for diving. If you did, you sure would exercise caution. Also, since white gold is hardened using different alloys, the process makes it more brittle, meaning that if you hit it with a force, it will be prone to cracking with some chunk of metal removed instead of getting a ding or a dent, unlike a stainless steel watch. So you would really want to be a little more careful with this watch, especially when doing sports. I'll discuss this in a little more detail in my comparison video where I'm putting this side by side with stainless steel Submariner. The wrist size you're looking at is 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimeters and the watch as any other Rolex Submariner maintains the iconic looks and wears excellent even on smaller wrists. From the wrist view, you can see full case profile and the lugs connecting to the bracelet which complements the experience when you look at the wrist. The modern sub with maxi cases wears more like 42 mm watches but you can see that the case sits in the center of the wrist and there is no flaring or lugs sticking out meaning that despite being larger 49 mm lug to lug height the watch sits nicely even on smaller wrists. The bracelet can do us to the wrist nicely and there is no sense that it is oversized or undersized for the wrist in view. This blue white gold Rolex Submariner is absolutely a watch you would want to own and experience once in your life. If you know it, you know what it is. And if you have seen it, you know you need it in your life. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you liked the video and wanted to stay notified of my next video. Happy collecting.